if you have a Mac and you want to get started using uh, App Engine SDK for Python, it's also very, very simple. Get started at developers.google.com slash App Engine, and on the left-hand side you'll see a Downloads link. Select the Downloads link and you'll see a number of different downloads of the SDK, this PHP, Python, Java, and Go. But we're going to select the Python link, and we'll see the links here for downloading it. There's a DMG available. Right now it's version 1.8.8. By the time you're watching this, it might be a later version. But just download the DMG, and you're going to use that to install the App Engine Launcher. Once it's finished downloading, you can simply open the DMG. And inside it, you'll find the Google App Engine Launcher. Drag this onto your desktop or into your Applications folder or wherever you want to launch it from, and it will get installed. Once it's installed, you can simply launch it. You'll see this warning, Google App Engine Launcher is an application downloaded from the internet. You sure you, you want to open it? I'll say yes I do. And you'll see the new Google App Engine runtime will be extracted. You'll be asked if you want to make command sim links like this. Uh, say OK to that. And then you'll be asked for your uh, system authorization, so whatever it is that you use to sign into your machine, your credentials for that, and the symbolic links will be created for you. And here now you see the Google App Engine Launcher. Now I had a previous couple of apps that I had launched on here, so you're seeing them on the list. But if I want to create a new one, I just simply go to File, New Application. I'll give myself an application ID. I'll just say uh, Python Tutorial as an example. I, my application directory is like users L Moroni, or I can put it somewhere else, for example, on my desktop. Uh, my runtime can be Python or PHP in the launcher. Of course, Go and Java are all supported by App Engine, but within this launcher, it's just these two. And then I have my admin port and my actual port that it runs on. Uh, because I have previous ones, the port increments each time. So, you know, I'm going to be running on 11,080. You might just see like 8,080 uh, if you're doing this for the first time. So I'll create that, and the Python tutorial folder is created for me. Let me drag it up so you can see it. Here's my Python tutorial folder. And inside my Python tutorial folder, I have app.yaml, favicon.ico, index.yaml, and main.py. Main.py is my Python. And if I open this one up, we can see the contents of it, and it's import web app 2. It's defining a class called mail, main handler, and on the get of a main handler, you'll see self.response.write hello world. You'll see all of this within the documentation or within the blog posting. So um, hopefully this is a good way for you to get started, so you can see just how simple it is to get running with Python. And if we take a look at it, we can launch it. So my Python tutorial, once it's running, I can now go to localhost 11,080, and I should see the Hello World site is running for me, and there it is. So that's it. That's all you need to do to get started with the App Engine Launcher. Follow through the documentation, and you'll see how to build a CRUD application with this. Thank you.